Taurus, this is your new year reading. Uh, holler at your boy for a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, let's jump right into it. Okay, you have the Six of Wands in reverse. Um, when I see the Six of Wands in reverse, I usually refer to it as a moral victory, Taurus. Okay. Let's see. Okay, you got the Page of Wands in the upright. Um... I could see you wanting to come out of uh, petty conflict, competition, squabbling. In regards to a course of action, um, you want to remove yourself from the toxicity, and or this could be something that's being advised. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Wands in the upright. So you have the you have a moral victory. That page of wands in the upright is travel, maps, and navigation. Where to next? Um, I could subtract a reversed six of wands, so now you're left with a five of wands in the reverse. Um, meaning you're wanting to come out of petty conflict and you're wanting like something concrete, stable, recognition, course of action. You want to take something to the next step for a wand in the upright as well as what I could read the five of wands in the reverse. Um, Wanting to come out of a toxic, to some sort of toxicity, it could be codependency, negative lifestyle, um, something cyclical or reoccurring, okay, uh, false offers, okay, you want to work on uh, quality, you want something to be the real deal, it could be a relationship, work, those are usually the main hitters that we refer to when we're doing the tarot. Okay, there's truths bubbling to the surface. Okay. With that page of wine or page of cups in the upright. Let's see. Gonna pull the second deck. Okay, there's a tower moment. Why is there a tower moment? Okay, it's bringing truth and clarity. Okay, I'm moving to a better place internally. Contract or relationship. What else? Yeah, so something sudden might occur to kind of shake things up. Um, start to communicate um, what you want, what you're going for. I know that you seem to want to go for the best, but if you're having, you know, something in mind that no one's aware of, then how are they going to be able to follow you? Um, 
you're not able to unlock your abundance right there with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There needs to be some truth, some heartfelt communication. Okay. Right now there's discord, there's uh, lack of harmony, lack of bliss. Let's see. What can we do? I mean, communication. Heartbreak. Well, you know, tarot kind of teaches us that the answer is always to raise your vibe. Um, four coins is that physical, uh, physical stability. Okay. Hesitance to take a leap in regards to what? what's the message here? Doing something traditional. Hmm. Swords in reverse. What am I picking up for? Yeah, more truth and clarity after a tower moment. be something embarrassing that um, that kind of reveals how someone really feels about you in a good way though okay I it's apologies for this reading for you know taking so long but it's, it really is a matter of trying to kind of tap in to your energy and see what's going on um, you can be kind of enigmatic, uh, hard, tough, you know, not to crack, tough to figure out, um, that King of Swords is, uh, his wellspring is logic and thought and reason and strategy and planning and kind of being the captain of his fleet. So I'm getting that you're wanting and needing something, but you're not communicating it. Um, you know, not to kind of fall on old sayings and adages, but the truth will set you free, right? Um, what do you really want and need, and how do you get someone to go along with it? Out of the, out of you know, the the real reasons within themselves. You know, which for me is love and heartfelt emotional bond and connection. Yeah. Yeah, and that's your fears for one in reverse. That you're going to be waiting forever. But there are a lot more subtle energies than just, you know, I'm trying for this. You know, you gotta, you gotta really make that heartfelt connection. You really got to put your, your emotion and soul into something uh, as opposed to just kind of wanting it. Wanting is not enough. 
going through the motions is not enough. There really has to be some sort of heartfelt emotional bond and connection. The science is not enough. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Something's not growing in. There's emphasis on uh, giving and receiving equally. If you're doing a lot of overextending, you're going to have to look at your own self worth and value first and foremost and figure out why am I doing this with this person that doesn't want what I want, doesn't want to go along with what I want. Is what I'm getting for you, Taurus. Okay. This person that you're overextending for might not be in the best situations financially. And so it's kind of hard for them to go along with what you want. So that Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Queen of Swords in the reverse, and you're being really like cutthroat. That's your kind of knee-jerk reactionary energy. Okay. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. You know, really, I have to invest resources and time and keep you running out of patience. But if you're really worthy and you really love this thing or this person, or this position, then you're really going to make an investment into it. And you're going to learn from your past mistakes. This could be work related with the Eight of Pentacles, your craft. Okay, three of Cups in reverse. Having to really get down to work. Um, You know, picking up after the party, after the holiday vacation, all that stuff. Yeah, so things could really start to start growing in for you. hesitance and reticence to um, kind of take a take a leap starting your own thing coming in boss you know that's kind of hot nowadays hot and heavy and conversations two of Pentacles is virtue value priorities your overhead Okay, basic necessities. Um, doing what you do day in and day out. The dance of that. Is that what you do? What you're supposed to do? If you tie it to your sole purpose. But again, you're picking up the pieces. You're, you're picking up after the holiday, after the kind of being removed. And hopefully, you know, with some hang the man energy you're seeing your situation in a new light. Okay. I think the morality and the um, the uh, you're removing yourself from some toxicity is uh, kind of going for what you really want.
and or invest in the, the time and the resources and, and what you really want. Not being afraid to do so. Because I think right now you're kind of seeing yourself in a position as that you can't do something about it. You know? And that's not true at all. Let's see. Yeah, there's more stuck, hesitance, reticence to move on, energy, hesitance and reticence to take a leap of faith. Maybe kind of going for your stability as opposed to really taking a chance at what you love, or who you love. Yeah, there's a hangman coming out of it though, which is good. You're opening up your heart to the possibilities. You are seeing something in a new light. Even though it may have broken down on the side of the road from before. This deck. Okay, it could be emotional sadness and processing and moving on from what you felt was a twin flame or a soulmate. Let's see what we got. Using two decks here, by the way. Okay, you got the Ace of Swords in reverse there. Lack of clarity, lack of truth. Again, yeah, it could be you not communicating your wants and needs. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, strength card in the upright. that you had to leave the situation. Something that you opened yourself up to and you fought for. Well, you weren't being receptive to it emotionally with that four cups. Now you fill out in the cold. Yeah, heartbroken. I think some of the resistance is sometimes not realizing or accepting how much we're loved or how much we're worth. That's what I'm kind of getting to with all that energy. Yeah, there's a lot of emphasis on um, kind of opening up your heart and making yourself available to that emotional connection. Um, could 
be some emotional processing, feeling your emotions, feeling your feels, and um, allowing them to uh, kind of reveal where your heart's really at, and what you're able to do for yourself to be able to move on where you need to. Yeah, this is resting and feeling, and seeing where your mind goes and how it's connected to your heart. That's what I'm reading that. Typically, you know, the Libra energy could be balancing the scales between heart and mind. Okay. Some harmony. And that's where you're going to get your strength. Okay, so you're going to have to use logic and heart to, to be able to stand in, in, in your true power. That's what I'm getting. It's going to be that blend. Okay, not just 100% heart, not just 100% mind. Sometimes that middle option or that middle ground or that middle territory or that third party is closer to the truth. And just, yeah, right there, it's truth and clarity. Okay, so that's your answer for this reading. Um, for whatever it is that you're seeking. I know it took a while, but you are slow moving energy, fixed energy. Um, and balance is key for you, that fine blend between thought logic reason and emotion and heart space. That's gonna really bring you in your power. Okay. Um, Right, anything else for Taurus for their New Year's reading? Um, I might put this behind a Venmo paywall. Yes, so yeah, it is. It's that balancing, it's that temperance between the mind and the heart that we're speaking of right there. Divine timing, allowing you to get to your spot synchronistically. Spirit, anything else for Taurus? New Year's reading. And again, this could be a, a year long lesson. This could just be for the month of January, however you feel to apply it in your life. Yeah, more emotional processing, really getting your head and your heart on the same page. Okay, because your head's going to want to kind of see things in the most base, cold, you know, for some way. And your heart's really going to want to illuminate and kind of um, hold your energy from like this base crash level. So there's going to have to be some sort of blend between the two, you know, without diluting yourself, but really truly feeling your way and understanding it's usually a good uh, kind of understanding of the truth is when we go at it heart-based and logic-based. And there you go. It's going to help uh, give either you or that individual that we were referring to earlier if we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, somebody wanting to find their um, harmony and bliss. There you go. Enough to be able to take a leap of faith of your own or your own. It's going to be privy to, to your own personal truth of where you're truly at. And I think all of these energies kind of formulate to the sum of what we're actually willing to do in our lives. Okay, rebirth and, and external victory. So that morality that we started with internally, right? Leaving a toxic situation, because anything good could be easily turned into a toxic situation. 
the morality, meaning the inner victory, uh, is going to um, essentially um, manifest externally. But it has to start with within. Okay. I think a lot of it is... Um, you know, a lot of the aspects of uh, trust and faith are, are uh, something that really the mind can't operate with logically. That's where the heart comes in. So that's kind of what I'm getting. Okay. Make sure to check your reactions and your aggressive energy. That's my health and fitness workout card. Okay, emotional leadership and maturity. You're very nice to work with. And that's going to be your lesson right there. Emotional leadership and maturity. Making sure that you're taking care of yourself so as to be able to be in tune and in sync with your, with your uh, emotive uh, connections. So, seems fair enough for me. Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Holler at your boy for one on one reading. Feel free to like, share, follow across all social media platforms. Leave a comment below if this resonated. And um, if this is on the YouTube, feel free to send a donation um, to Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. All my info is on the link below. Can't do this without you guys. Um, so, peace, light, and love to you all. Peace.